So I just launched my brand new design agency, Best Pest Marketing. And in part one of this video series, I showed you exactly how I set up the agency, including how to choose a niche and how to create and price a good offer. In part two of this series, I showed you exactly what it takes to build a perfect portfolio website. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I plan to do to find my first clients. Now, the way that this is going to work is I'm gonna break this video down into two segments. The first is my short-term strategy. So what am I going to do today to get me clients this week? And the second part will be my long-term strategy. So things that won't necessarily get me clients this week or even this month, but once it does start getting me clients, it won't stop. Now, before I dive into these two strategies, the reason that I'm building this new design agency is for my program, the Solo Agency Blueprint. In this program, I'm showing you exactly how to start an agency, how to find clients, how to fulfill the work. Basically, everything from A to Z is going to be shown to you in this program, and it's going to show you how to do it all by yourself. So if you're interested in that, you can find the link down below this video. So let's get into it. The first short-term strategy is a launch announcement. This is something that I did for my first agency clear back in 2018, and it worked so well that I figured it was worth giving it a shot again. So the whole idea of this is I'm going to start within my inner circle of friends and family because these are people that already know me, already trust me, and it's going to be the easiest to contact these people first. And I believe that the easiest way to reach these people instantly starting today is to just post a launch announcement. So essentially what this is, is a quick post to my entire audience, just telling them that I started a new agency this is what I'm doing, this is why I do it, and if you or anybody you know has a need for my services, you can reach out to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on Facebook and here's what I'm going to type for my post. I have exciting news to share. Many of you know I worked as a salesman in the pest control industry for nearly five years. After that job, I found my main calling in web design and marketing, and I've been lucky enough to help several different pest control companies grow online. So as of today, I am combining these two and launching my new agency, Best Pest Marketing. We offer web design and SEO specifically for pest control startups. We've already gotten great results for our past clients, so if you or someone you know works in the pest industry, let's have a chat. You can book a short Zoom meeting on my calendar at this link. So this launch announcement might seem really simple and obvious, but this is the best first step you can take. You get the word out there, and chances are really good that one of your friends from Facebook or a friend of a friend or even a friend of a friend of a friend are going to have a need for your services. So I'm gonna go ahead and post this message and move on to our next short-term strategy. So the next strategy is building a cold email list. Now this isn't just any cold email list of strangers. We're still going to keep things within my circle of friends, family, and mutual friends. So this is gonna take some manual research on your part to dive into your Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn and find people that could either be a potential client or would have connections with a potential client. Now, technically this is an email list, but you could also create a list of phone numbers and even physical locations that you could go visit. The most important part is that you have some way to contact these people and you know what you're going to say when you contact them. These are not just going to be generic template emails that you send out to everyone, but every single one of these messages is going to be unique and personalized. So what I did to start building my list for the pest control industry is I went to Facebook and I just typed in the word pest. And then I filtered this by posts. Now immediately Facebook is showing me all of my friends that have posted about something with the word pest in it. And you'll see that a lot of these are people posting about the start of their new pest control business or a new pest control sales job. And these are all great people to add to my email list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this email list and then I'm going to also add a column that tells me exactly who this person is and how I need to contact them. So some of these might be old contacts that I used to work with. And I'm gonna say something like, how have you been? It's been a super long time. I don't think we've talked since we worked together knocking doors for pest control. Are you still in the pest control industry or what are you up to? So very generic cold email, but it's going to warrant a response. And the hope is that some of these people are still involved in the pest control industry. Maybe they work with a new company. Maybe they've started their own company, or maybe they just know somebody that went and did one of those things. There might be some of these people that I know for certain have started a pest control company. And in that case, my message is going to be completely different. I'm gonna say, hey, I just saw your post about launching your new pest control business. How's that going? 
It can just be something simple, not salesy, to start a conversation and get the ball rolling. Now, when you're creating this initial email list, there's really no rules to this. You can find phone numbers and emails on their Facebook. You can ask friends to pass you a phone number or email. You can look on their website. You can look on LinkedIn. Whatever you have to do to find that contact information is going to be worth it. So start going through this list, sending your emails and your text messages, starting conversations, and doing your best to get some good leads. Even if these contacts can't give you leads right now, make sure you maintain that relationship because down the road, they might end up being a client or passing you a new client. All right, so we've got the two most obvious short-term strategies out of the way, and this third one is one that I'm really excited to share with you. This is called the pre-built site offer. So as you know, cold outreach can be really difficult, especially cold calling strangers. And most of the time, they're going to hang up on you, they're gonna say, no, I'm not interested, and it's going to be a very unpleasant experience for you. Now, the reason that this is normally unpleasant for you is these people don't owe you anything. And so you're gonna to have to be persistent to push through that and get them to wanna to listen to you and talk to you. But the pre-built site offer solves all of those issues. It makes these people wanna to talk to you and it makes them feel like they need to reciprocate and give you time to listen to you. And the reason for this is you're not showing up on this cold call empty-handed. Instead, what you're doing is coming to them on the call and saying, I found your old website and I actually designed and built you a brand new one. This is going to catch people off guard. They're gonna be surprised that you took the time and the effort to build them a new site. And so it's gonna be much more difficult for them to say no. And most people are going to agree to meet with you again to take a look at what you've built. Now you're gonna waste a lot of time if you actually design and build a website before every cold call and it's gonna be frustrating if you spend 30 minutes building a site and then they never answer the phone. So instead, what you're going to do is create a template. This is a template that I built using Webflow and it's a very generic looking pest control website and I've even got this element here to the side that acts as the checklist for me to know everything that needs to be customized before the second call. So once I hop on the cold call, I'm going to say, I would love to show you the site that I built for you. Do you have time later this afternoon? Once they agree to meet on a Zoom call, what I'm going to do is come to my template. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to go through the checklist and update every part of the website to make it look custom for their business. They're gonna be blown away that you've done all of this work for them. And the nice part is you don't have to do any work unless you know you've got a second call scheduled. Now there are a couple common excuses or objections that people are going to give you. When you ask them if they have time later this afternoon to look at the site, a lot of times people are gonna tell you, nah, no, I don't have time, I'm too busy today. And instead of backing down and ending the call, what you can say is, that's totally fine. I know I kinda caught you off guard today, what if we just shoot for tomorrow? Would morning or afternoon work best for you? And nine times out of 10, they're going to agree to meet with you tomorrow. Another thing that they'll often say to you is, that sounds great, why don't you send me a link and I'll take a look at it when I have time. Now you don't wanna do this because chances are they're going to look at the site and never call you back. So what I tell them is, I would love to send you the link, but it's actually not a live website yet. I just have it here on my computer, but I can walk you through the whole thing on a screen share on a short Zoom call. Will that work for you? This is a great way to overcome that objection. And again, most of the time people are gonna say, ah, yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. I could do tomorrow. And so don't get discouraged when these people put up a little bit of a fight because if you can just get them to agree to that second call, you're going to be able to come into that call with a ton of confidence. You've got a website that you've designed and developed for them. They're going to be able to see your work and the second call is not going to be cold. They already know you, they agreed to that call, so they're gonna be much more friendly and open to explore the idea of hiring you. Now, once you do make it to that second call, just show them your work. Talk to them about some of their concerns with their current website. Understand what it is that they need, and it's gonna be a pretty easy sales call to get them to agree to hire you to finish the website and publish it. All right, so those are a few of my short-term strategies, and obviously I kept my best ones inside of the program, so if you want more of those ideas, you can click the link down below. Now I wanna to move to the long-term strategy. And this is one that has been incredibly effective for me, and it's a simple long-tail keyword SEO strategy that's going to help you get in front of the perfect prospects. So all you're gonna to need to do is use a tool like SEMrush or my SEO tool, SEMflow, and search for long tail keywords, or in other words, longer keywords that have low competition and fairly high search volume, or at least existent search volume. So in the case of pest control website, I searched a bunch of different keyword phrases 
and the one that I found was Website Design for Pest Control. This is actually not as long tail as you can get, but it turned out this had pretty low competition and it had 50 monthly searches, which is plenty to get some new clients every month. So all you're gonna need to do is find this long tail keyword and then just implement it into a page of your website. So for me, I'm gonna take this first long tail keyword and I'm going to implement it into my homepage. Now, when I say implement, all that really means is I'm going to incorporate it in my H1, into my page title and meta description, and throughout the content of that web page. Then what you wanna do is find a cheap tool like SEMflow to optimize that page and make sure that there are no major errors that could hurt your SEO ranking. And then all you have to do is get a couple backlinks. A backlink is when another website links back to your website and Google views this as a popularity contest. So the more websites that link back to your page, the higher it's going to rank for its keyword. So you can figure out how to get these backlinks on your own, or you can just outsource them. This is something that my team does, so if you wanna buy a few backlinks, you can click the link down in the description. Now, once you've implemented your keyword, optimized your site, and gotten a few backlinks, all you have to do is be patient. Within six to 12 months, you're going to start seeing your ranking pop up on the search results, and you're going to start getting more and more of that traffic. Now, my favorite part about this strategy is you know exactly what type of people are seeing your listing because you are optimizing for the exact phrase that they're searching. So if somebody is searching for a website designed for pest control, you know that that's a service they're actively looking for. And so they're going to be really warm leads that are ready to hire you. So as you can tell from this short video, there are a ton of insanely effective ways to get new clients. You just have to know the right steps to take. So that concludes part three of this series. If you're ready for part four on how to close these clients and then actually fulfill the work and how to manage the projects, just comment part four down below and we'll have that video coming to you very soon. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.